All right, today we're presented with a small hummingbird with what looks like a right humeral fracture. Um, we're going to try something different. This guy's actually eating very well from the uh, <laughs> from the syringes we've offered him already. So I am going to try a procedure where we're going to try and tape up this wing, kind of a modified figure eight without the eight. <laughs> anyway, um, and since this guy's doing so well and responding to so well to our feedings, we're going to go ahead and try this with him um, and or her. I'm not trying to be sexist here. But, uh, too cute. But we're going to try a new procedure, and it's going to be some microsurgery on the wing, or at least uh, we'll put the bandage on, and then we will uh, see how well we do from there. Cool. Hey. No, 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 don't go anywhere. Sit still. Very cool. All right, so what we did was we put one small, very small piece of tape under the wing, sticky side facing up. Another piece of tape with a round circle that's going around his body you see there with the sticky side facing down. So the theory is we can hold the wing in place once the tape touches each other and then put it all the way around his body. And if you'll notice, he actually have it pre-lined up over the top. So that looks actually pretty good. And there's my wife calling. Hello, wife. Goodbye, wife. <laughs> I'll call you later. So anyway, that's not so bad, and uh, we're eating, so that's good news. We'll see how we do. Cool. Although, we did figure a way to bandage hummingbirds' wings a little bit more efficiently than before, especially for these species having stranger wings than most. Uh, this bird did die over the weekend. So uh, rest in peace, little buddy. We learned much, and thank you for your help.